Welcome to Little Dean Jail Ghosties. Hi, I'm Becky, Ghost Ghost Girl. Come with me as I explore local areas, their myths, legends, history and their ghosts. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. The former House of Correction, Police Station and Courthouse is the UK's most talked about, most unorthodox historical visitor attraction set in the Royal Forest of Dean. And I loved it! Little Dean Jail is listed as a Grade 2 building and was designed and built by Sir George Onziforus, Onziforus, a pioneer of prison reform and a leading architect of the time, William Blackburn. Prison was completed in 1791 and was supervised by another architect, William Hobson, after the death of William Blackburn, who was also his brother-in-law. The building work started in 1788, but it was halted for a short time due to bankruptcy. Jay Fentiman from London finished the job. During its time, Little Dean Joe was revolutionary and it later became the government's model of the best house of correction. The world famous Philadelphian Cherry Hill Penitentiary System in America was muddled after it. Known as the Alcatraz of the Forest, Little Dean Jail is not only home to the infamous Crime Through Time Museum, originally started at Newman's Old Courthouse, which is the only museum of its kind in the world that is open to the public. It also houses the largest collection of Quadrophenia memorabilia, which was a movie based in the UK set in the 80s. The prison's formidable sandstone facade has withstood the test of time and it stands today like it did hundreds of years ago. It has a lot of history and it is also a place of infamy. It is a reminder of the labour, blood and sweat which were needed in order to build it. But Little Dean Jail isn't just prison. It's an architecturally significant building. First inmate admitted to Little Dean Jail was a 19-year-old labourer by the name of Joseph Marshall. He was convicted for stealing a spade. Aside from adults, children as young as 8 years old were also incarcerated here. There were three babies born in the jail between 1837 and 1838. However, only one survived. In 1854, Little Dean Jail was used as a police station and a petty sessions court until 1874. The jail is currently owned by the Jones family, which is also friends of my in-laws, and is open to the public as a crime museum displaying crime material for over a century. The hauntings at Little Dean Jail include a man seen in a green uniform who is seen to vanish through a wall in the old courtroom, children heard and seen in the lower wing and, and lower corridor corridor, bangs being heard in the holding cell on the glass casing and so much more. Haunted happenings carry out vigils and experiments in the most active areas of this former house of correction and some of the paranormal evidence to date has been astonishing. I did look on the website and it doesn't look like they are going to be holding an uh, investigation here anytime soon. The weekend before my visit, my friends Ed and Paul of GPS or Gloss of Paranormal Investigation Services filmed here with Jane Harris of My House is Haunted. I cannot wait to see what they've captured. Apparently it was very very active. People have said that they've also seen the face of an elderly man staring at them in the dark. Interestingly, this has been noted on many of events with the same face being described by guests. Have you been here and never experienced anything weird? Okay, let me know. Bye!